This is exam mini video one by Brandon Bell. First, let's start off with the Lyon hypothesis. The Lyon hypothesis regards the differences in gene dosages between males and females. A female has two X chromosomes while a male only has one, which results in one of the two becoming inactivated in a female. The ina inactivated chromosome will condense and become what is known as a bar body. And this is the founder of the hypothesis, Mary Frances Lyon. Now time for the relationship between X inactivation and X linked inheritance. X-linked genes are passed on the X chromosome and they are inherited differently to males and females due to the differing amount of X chromosomes. Humans only need the dosage of one X chromosome so females can turn one off. The one that is turned off becomes inactive in comparison to a condensed structure known as a bar body, which is represented right here. Which X chromosome is turned off is random depending on the, each individual cell. However, all progeny cells will keep the same one inactivated. The chart shows how an X randomly becomes inactive and turns into a bar body, and how each progeny cell has the same X chromosome turned off in each case. Now let's run through our first scenario involving a black female and a yellow male cat who fell in love with one another and they mated. Now that we have our two cats and their respective genotypes, we can make a Punnett square in order to determine their offspring. We can see that the possibilities are half tortoiseshell females and half black males. This is due to X inactivation due to the silencing of one of the X chromosomes in the female cats in order to prevent double expression of the X-linked gene, which will result in a toxic dosage. The tortoise cell occurs because each individual cell in the cat's body will silence the X chromosome, which can result in a different fur color, which is known as lionization. This random silencing of the gene in each cell creates the mosaic code of the beloved tortoise shell cat. Now let's do another example comparing two different traits. We have a yellow and short-haired female and a black long-haired male that also fell in love and they mated, which is also cute. We know that there are two traits being passed and crossed, fur color and fur length. We do the two squared to result in four possible gametes. We would do a punnett square for fur color and one for fur length. From there, we can create a branch diagram in order to easily see the possible offspring. We know that half of the offspring will be tortoise shell and the other half will be yellow regarding the fur color and that half will be long-haired and the other half will be short-haired. From there, we would multiply each fraction in the branch together to determine the possible genotypes of the offsprings. Now we know that a clone tortoise shell would not look like the original due to the X inactivation. The cells will determine on their own individually which X chromosome to silence, which will be different from the original, resulting in a different code between a clone and the original cat. And then these are my references in addition to each one on the slides for the pictures. Thank you.